All right, ready? Okay, put Three, your hands up. Put your hands two, up. one. Yay! This is a duel, so it's, yeah, two. it's two. We have four by City Hall, and we have, uh, uh, is that six? And there's and two more. Downtown. Right? Yeah, I think there's a duel downtown, too. Duel? So, right? I thought there was. Yeah, you have two. Locations, yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 one on so Turkey one Track, which track. is in between the uh, Thai Massage and the Mr. Lee's Fry Cleaners, and then another one kind of behind the bank, uh, bank the bar. bar. Thing. Actually, this one, this location did. We tried them to charge this and all, or to, yeah, to provide the energy really for this, become, as well as the lights yeah. in here and our pump for the uh, for the orchard. So the water that comes up comes out of our well. So we're actually using this. So this is all money. We don't have to pay for what we need. All the council members, myself included, have been behind this project from day one. It's so important for us to put things in place, put, put, um, implement projects like this that provide a benefit to the community for mm -hmm. many, many years to come. And this is certainly one of them. You know, this is grant money that was provided to us. It was use it or lose it type thing. We either spent the money on this project or we couldn't use it, right, but basically. how many choices did you have to spend the money? Was it just this one alone? Yeah, no, absolutely. It was, it was designated specifically oh. for uh, charging stations mm -hmm. and for solar panels. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's the benefit associated with this. So we could put these grant dollars uh, to use here in our city. And again, the benefit of those, uh, those grant dollars go to the community. So our savings in terms of electric mm -hmm. uh, usage Mm -hmm. uh, and PG&E bills, both mm -hmm. for the library as well as for City Hall, um, is money that now we don't have to spend, right? We don't have to spend tax dollars, taxpayer dollars in order to, um, to pay for all those electric bills. I've been a big fan of solar my whole life. Uh, in college, I was an electrical engineering student, and I made a little extra time to take solar engineering classes. And um, my kids have lived in a household where every time we'd see solar on a roof, we'd have to circle the block so I could show them. You know, Silicon Valley is where a lot of this technology is invented, and we're just grateful to play our part for our citizens and citizens who want to visit here to be able to come and charge their cars. Thank you so much, Howard Miller, Council Member, City of Saratoga. Thank you. How this project is such a benefit to all the people who live in Saratoga. Um, yes. Um, well, number one, I think is we... It, I'm so happy to see that we are capitalizing on the trend of technology, something that saves uh, energy and something that could help preserve the environment. I'm so proud to be part of the community that uphold this message. And I, for one, have actually ordered an electric car. Electric you have! And I said that uh, it's like you can come here and charge your car while you charge your minds. And uh, I think it's really great that Saratoga stepped forward and put these charge centers and they're, they're all charged up with solar power, so that's also good. And so uh, we've got to continue to set these uh, charging stations up at, at the schools, libraries, everywhere in the community. And where will the first one be installed? Well, right here in the library. You can come to your library right now. There's two charging stations. Park your car, go read a book, go to the library. And while you're in the library, you can charge your car. So it's so great. Or you can go downtown Saratoga, have dinner, plug it in. When you get out of dinner, your car's charged up.